reviewed all of our hair dryers. Which one is the best for natural hair? <laughs> Jayla aka Jay Chanelli on the internet. Welcome back to my channel and make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I recently heat styled my hair and I had to decide which blow dryer tool I thought would give me the best results. So in today's video I'm going to compare all of my blow dryer tools which are some pretty popular tools to let you know which one works best on type 4 natural hair. I made dedicated review videos for each one of these products so if you're interested in seeing any of them in detail go ahead and check them out above. In this video I'm going to go from the most affordable products and work our way up to the most expensive okay because they do get expensive. So our first dryer is our paddle brush dryer. This one in particular is from Revlon. It's the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. This hair dryer really revolutionized the hair game because it combined the paddle brush design with the blow dryer effect. For natural hair girls specifically, who are already used to detangling their hair with a paddle brush, this really made a huge difference in the results that we were able to get. You don't have to use two different hands to hold a brush in one hand, hold the blow dryer in the other hand and try to get your hair stretched as much as possible. You have a two-in-one tool. I have owned this product for five years and counting. This right here, I'm about to get one of these. So I have a lot of experience with this particular tool. So this is my go-to tool to stretch my hair before protective styles. So for example, if I want to install braids or twists and I want stretched hair as my foundation, this is the dryer tool that I'm going to be grabbing. I think it's very natural hair friendly. You're not getting a whole lot of hair pulled out from the powder brush. You can control the temperature, of course. It has a low, medium, high, and cool heat setting. I've used it on low heat for a time that I just need a very minor stretch on my hair. I've used it to get my hair pretty, pretty straight. And it's also the most user-friendly tool, okay? If you know how to use a brush, you know how to use this tool. Now, there are some cons, and the biggest con that I would say is that you really cannot get your roots that straight. So if you're looking to like prep your hair to flat iron, just know you can't really hit your roots like you need to with this blow dryer. Now I will say when this brush came, it had pink tips on each one of the bristles. Those are gone, okay? Them been gone. <laughs> Those got lost in the sauce of blow drying my curly, kinky, coily hair. This tool has taken a little bit of a beat in from my hair. I do think that everybody who is natural should own this tool <laughs> if you are looking to blow dry or heat style your hair in any way and given the fact that it's only $30 you are getting a bang for your buck. Next up we have the cousin of our Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler and that is Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer and as you can see it has that round brush design which differs from the paddle brush that I previously showed you. Now I already have a video comparing the paddle brush design to this round brush design. If you're interested in hearing that, go ahead and check out that video. But this tool does have some very unique properties. The reason you would pick up the round brush rather than a different blow dryer is when you really want that blowout effect. Girl, get into this side. So you are again looking to get your hair on the straighter side. Maybe you have looser curls and you literally can get away with blow drying your hair only. You don't have to go in with a flat iron. A lot of people on the internet use this tool incorrectly. This is not a blow dryer that you run straight down your hair. That's not what this is for. If you want a blow dryer that you just run straight through your hair, get the powder brush dryer. So if you are using this tool in that way, you are not really getting the benefits of the tool. It's a round brush, so you have to use it like a round brush, which means you have to flick the wrist. You have to turn it in a circular round motion in order to really get the benefits of this tool. And when you are using a round brush, the idea is that you are literally stretching the hair by pulling it in a circular motion and the hair is literally being round up 
on the brush, the heat is able to penetrate your hair a lot more. The tension of the motion is what's really stretching your hair. It's like a little flick of the wrist, it do. Let's get into how this tool interacts with type four natural hair. I don't know if y'all can see this, but these bristles is going every which way. And baby, it was not like that when I first bought this tool. So I will say this tool is definitely much rougher on my hair and I definitely do lose a lot more hair while using this tool. In general, it's just a rougher tool because of the mechanical motion. So you may be asking yourself, well then Jayla, why would you use this tool? This tool gets your roots and it gets them good, okay? So this is a tool that I actually used in my last video when I was preparing to flat iron my hair. I used this tool because I knew it was going to give me an amazing stretch from root to tip. The hate settings, cool, low, medium, high, just like the other Revlon product. This hair tool is gonna to be in the same or similar price range as the last one, anywhere from 30 to 40 bucks. Overall, this tool is not gonna be user-friendly to everybody, and it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. If you're looking for a generic all-purpose blow dryer, this is not your girl. This is for people who want to <laughs> learn the technique of a round brush, who are looking specifically for a blowout effect, or getting your roots as smooth as possible. Our next tool is one that is very, very unique. This is the Revlon One Step Air Straight. Now, this is supposed to combine the technology of a blow dryer and a flat iron in one. This one is a little different because I don't think this style is as popular in this day and age. So there are only a couple of other brands that have tools that are similar to this, one of them being Dyson. So Dyson came out with their tool called the Air Straight, which costs, if I'm not mistaken, $500. And this is Revlon's response to that product. So this is technically the dupe product. You have holes here where air is coming out. You also have teeth here in order to get that hair a little bit more straight and the unique proposition of this tool is that these this inside here is ceramic because it heats up similar to how a flat iron would these heat settings are again a little different because you can use the blow dryer setting only you can use the hot plate plus the blow dryer setting or you can just use the hot plates if you are natural and you natural like i'm natural do not think you about to go from wet hair to straight hair with this tool trust me I tried. The only people that I've seen use this tool successfully are people with much looser textures. Be very mindful if you are eyeing this tool because it is not going to give you the desired effects, okay? Don't even set those expectations for yourself. I was disappointed <laughs> in the performance of this tool. I'm just gonna let you know. This tool retails for a whole $80. It's literally twice the price of those other tools. This is a tool that I wish I had saved my money on. If I could return it, I would, but I use it on the internet and I just think that's bad form to do a whole review video and then return it. But yeah, this was a waste of my money and was and would not recommend it. Yeah. Last, but certainly not least, in our hair dryer lineup, we have the Rev Air. Now, if you're not familiar with the Rev Air hair dryer, it is such a unique product because it uses reverse air technology to basically suck your hair like a vacuum in order to get it straight. Very different from our other blow dryers, which literally blow air in order to get your hair straight. Now, this is the actual tool that you put your hair in. So in case you are unfamiliar, it does have heat settings. You can use heat you can use a low heat setting or a higher heat setting in order to add to the dryer process of this. It's this big old long behind tool. This then attaches to another part. So this is the actual base of the hair dryer. This connects right here, okay? And then this is where you set the amount of tension that you want the blow dryer to use, okay? If you set it to like a zero, it only pulls your hair just a little bit, just a little tug. But if you set this to the highest setting, which is seven, it's literally using a lot more suction in order to dry your hair. This dryer 
has a bit of a learning curve and by a bit I mean a pretty big learning curve okay you really have to be able to find that sweet spot of the amount of heat you should be using for your hair and the amount of tension that you should be using for your hair so the first time I used this tool I think it had the tension setting to a two which is relatively low and I was not getting very impressive results y'all I actually got the recommendation from the Rev Air team to turn up my tension setting to anywhere from a four to a six and that is when I started getting a lot better results it is definitely a learning journey for sure to use this product the biggest thing with this tool is that you are not using as much heat as you would with any other blow dryer again because this tool operates mostly on the suction and the reverse air mechanism you are not relying on these little heat settings it's really about the tension settings when you're using this tool it is pretty heat safe and especially for natural hair if you're someone who doesn't like to heat style your hair a lot or you don't want to face heat damage this tool is amazing for that now y'all I have to be honest with you this tool is a headache the actual apparatus itself is huge and heavy. This just takes a lot of work to get set up in the first place in order to get ready to use it. Another thing is it's hard to know how much time you should leave this on your hair. I literally can't see the results until I take my hair out of the apparatus. They do recommend for curly hair, kinky hair, you should be drying each section for 90 seconds, so a minute and 30 seconds. Another thing about the Rev Air, you have to move it around in order to get your roots. If not, your roots will literally be soaking wet. Last but most certainly not least, baby, the price point. This thing costs four hundred dollars. Four hundred. Like YG say, this is an investment of a tool. I did not pay full price for this tool. I bought mine when it was on sale. I actually bought it for a hundred dollars off. This is going to be a tool that is great for professional hairstylists, people who work in salons that need industrial level tools that need the advanced technology that this provides. That is going to get a lot of use out of this to justify the. $400 price point. Now Rev Air does have a new version of this tool out. I believe that it's smaller, it's less heavy, and I'm very glad that they did this because this old version, it was not given what it was supposed to have yet. Now that we've reviewed all of our hair dryers, which one is the best for natural hair? Overall, I have to go with the Revlon powder brush. It's so user friendly, it's so affordable, and it's so accessible. I think it's the best bet for you to work with your natural hair. If you're interested in any of the heat tools that I reviewed, go ahead and check my description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also like this video so YouTube can share with other people. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.